So Flexbox is quickly becoming the new standard for designing in Elementor. If you've started a new project with it recently, you might have seen this. Basically, it's just replacing the old standard intersections. Change may be scary, but this is actually a really good thing because Flexbox basically allows you to quickly create more interesting and better looking layouts. And it's much easier and much more flexible than the intersections used to be. It gives you more ability to control how your content is displayed and it really streamlines your whole workflow within Elementor. And another nice little bonus is that it can help you improve your page speed because from a backend perspective, it has a leaner code. So as the saying goes, less code, less load time. All right, listen, I'm not a comedian, all right, but I am a designer. And what I know is that Flexbox is awesome. So anyway, I think the best way to show you this obviously is with some context. So I've pulled up a homepage and I'm gonna show you how easily you can recreate the individual sections of it using the new container and Flexbox options within Elementor. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are. We all love nature. We all love Flexbox, even if we don't realize it yet. So to recreate this section, the first thing I'm gonna do is add this background image. So I'm going to click these six dots, choose my image and choose that easy enough. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add a container right here. And let's add this text here. So we're going to drag in two headings and we'll say we all love nature. And then we're going to drag in a text editor underneath these guys. Then we're going to click this and we're going to align everything to the center. And for style, we're just going to change this all to white. And we're going to make sure that this is an H1. All right. So <clears throat> all I did was make both of these H1s. And now I'm going to add another container right under this. And you'll see why in just a second. So they got two buttons here. So we are going to add one button, drag in another button. Now, the way we're gonna change this to fit this, we're gonna click the corner here and we're gonna change the direction to row or horizontal. And then we're going to justify everything to the center. And there you have it. There's your hero section. All right, next we are going to do the services section. So once again, I'm gonna start with a container. It looks like there is a header and what appears to be a divider. So I'm gonna drag the heading in and a divider, our services and this is definitely smaller up here so i'm going to take our services we're going to put that in the center we're going to take this we're going to make it way shorter like 10. so up here this looks a little bit thicker so let's give it a little more weight and now let's make it yellow it should be here in the global colors or the theme colors and now we have this section so basically this is going to be if you wanted to do something like this you're going to add another container and then you're going to put containers and containers and containers and then we're going to search for image box i'm going to add that in so you'll see already it's starting to take form like this is the container the heading the divider and this is going to be the container within the container and this is the beauty of flexbox so if we wanted to drag another in the easier way to do that is to duplicate it i don't know why i did it that way but now we can see that this has our three image boxes so if we click this we can organize everything horizontally and you can see how this is going to start to take shape so now if we go here we can choose our image we're going to pick that one go here choose image and we'll pick that one you might notice that these pictures are a little bigger than these ones what we're going to do is we're going to go over to style image and we're going to make the width 100 percent we're going to do that across the board and then it looks like the text up here is aligned to the left so what we're going to do is we're going to once again click and in style align we're just going to click to the left and there you have it there is that section so there it is that is how you can put flexbox into your elemental workflow i hope that helped if you have any questions of course as always leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one